guys it's oogs from the u.s welcome to the channel and thank you for watching i have a message in this video let me just go straight to the point free calum hassan adoi yes you heard it i'm gonna repeat myself free calum hassan adoi simple as that and let me make it clear from the get-go here i'm not that i'm not getting on people here i'm not gonna attack anybody here it's just simple common sense calum hassan adoi is not having playing time at chelsea football club everybody knows about it the right thing to do for all parties here is to let the kid go on loan somewhere or just sell him permanently with an option to buy back you know at some point in the future and everybody knows that i i protect a lot of my academy product i want calum hassan adoy to stay at the club for sure but i don't want to see him stay at the club and be like the number third choice he's so good to be on the bench he's so good to be the number third choice this is unacceptable we need to free calum hassan adoy right now look at what happened in the last few days or last few months he is not called anymore in the national team the main team i'm talking about they keep on calling him uh in the in the baby team under 21s yes he's still a baby 20 years old kid but his his level is not the baby level anymore they keep on calling him there because he's not having playing time in the first team at chelsea football club how do you expect Kalium Hassan Adoi, okay, to get to the next level after a bad injury who took him, him out of the, the game for almost two years, struggling like that? How do you expect him to come back to his natural, let's say, his normal level? Because so far, Kalium Hassan Adoi is not even in the level that he was before the injury. Fact. I know the kid very good. And how do you expect him to go through and to break that uh, barrier, that wall of, you know, uh, pain, of moral pain and, and all that and start killing it? You have to play him week in and week out. Give him playing time. Allow him to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So right now, I heard the last the, la the latest news that I read uh, from Simon Phillips and other journalists from Sky Sport. Uh, Dortmund are going to try to sign uh, Kalium Hassan Adoy in the next few hours or few days because we still have few hours or few days until the end of the transfer window. So they're gonna try to sign uh, Kalium Hassan Adoy, and that is a great news for me. I'm so excited if we let him go to Dortmund. Okay? He can go there, replace Jadon Sancho, and I'm telling you, he's going to get to the next level. Germany. And what the point? We refused 70 million on this kid to keep him in the, uh, in the club, only to, to make him sit on the bench? It doesn't make sense to me. And like I said, don't get me wrong. I am not going to get on Thomas Tuchel here. Thomas Tuchel need to do what he got to do to get the result because this is Chelsea Football Club. You don't risk your job. You, you are here to win. That cost Frank Lampard his job because he wanted to impose something that is unnatural for the modern Chelsea Football Club. You have just to win. You know what I mean? But with a bunch of kids, you have to be patient. You have to accept all kind of humiliation and insult from online expert in order to give somebody like Mason Mount a chance. Rhys James, Tammy Abram, Kalium Hassan Adoy, Tomori. You need to be patient and you need to prepare yourself to not win anything in order for those kids to grow. But at Chelsea, that is not what we do. It's not a Chelsea thing. A Chelsea thing is to win right now. Buy the finished article and buy and buy success, buy trophies right now. It's about money. So 
Kalium Hassan Adoy, if he's intelligent enough, he needs just to follow other people. Um, pathway okay say you know what i'm leaving i'm not sitting on the bench i'm not gonna be number number three on the list i deserve better so this is a win-win situation for everybody chelsea football club are going to benefit in the future because of kalum hasuna doi kalum hasuna doi is going to enjoy his football somewhere else win-win situation for certain people would tell me oh look we need you know a strong bench like i said kalum hasonado is too good for the bench christian pulisic is on the bench hakim ziech on the bench timo verna on the bench there are so many people in his position who can play and i, I just don't want to see him on the bench go develop your game somewhere and there is also a risk a big risk of losing his spot in the national team well he already lost it with england because of the situation now and then i don't know what decision he's going to make go play for ghana i'm okay i'm very good with that but just telling you that this the kid is confused at the moment so my message to you bradley kalum hasnadoy which is the brother of kalum hasnadoy the agent of kalum hasnadoy do the right thing get kalum hasunadoi out of the club right now this is very good for kalum hasunadoi there's no more hiding is over come on done Yeah. Oh, he's a footballer. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, that makes things interesting. Oh, okay. My comments asked me to ask you about Haaland. Ask him if Haaland is coming. I, don't know I, I can't answer that. I don't know. I don't know myself, so he I can't. couldn't answer that. I don't know. He can't. I, haven't I, got, can't I don't know. Him. I haven't got a clue. I'm going to leave one anyway. Yeah, come downstairs in a minute, huh? Like this. <laughs> 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 Holding the weight like. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>